So in today's video, we're going to focus on the AUG SMG, and this is actually the first SMG you get access to within Call of Duty Modern Warfare. The video will include some basic weapon stats along with a best class setup, so if you do enjoy the video or find it helpful in any way, please do me a favor of letting me know by hitting that like button, and if you're brand new to the channel or you just haven't yet subscribed, definitely go ahead and hit the red subscribe button, turning it to gray with notifications on to be able to find your way back for more Call of Duty content. The gameplay in the background is of Ground War, and I've been getting a lot of comments recently asking for more tips and tricks related to ground war so if that's something you guys are interested in make sure you let me know in the comment section below in my opinion the aug is definitely one of the best smgs in the entire game and the primary reason for that is because of the 556 conversion kit which gives you just a little bit more recoil but will actually make it so that the damage profile is similar to a rifle and as we'll see in some cases even better than some of the rifles in the rifle category let's go ahead and take a look at the recoil pattern of the aug as you can see when i just pull the trigger i'm not actually adjusting for any kind of recoil it literally just goes straight up into the sky with a slight angling to the left which is very negligible and this is typically the best recoil because it's very easy to manage all you do is pull down on your mouse or on your right analog stick to adjust for that recoil and you should be able to hit targets even at further ranges so the next thing we'll go ahead and take a look at is the damage profiles and there's pretty much three different damage profiles from 0 to 15 meters from 15 meters up to about 45 meters and then everything beyond 45 meters so something to keep in mind mind when it comes to the damage profiles is that in core game modes players have 100 health and then in hardcore players have 30 so if the damage profile is above 30 that means it'll be a one-shot kill at those individual ranges within hardcore so here's a quick little rundown of those damage values you can see from 0 to 15 meters it'll do 39 42 and 50 damage depending on where you hit the player on their body, giving you a two to three shot time to kill and with a rate of fire of about 679 rounds per minute, that brings the TTK at those ranges down to 88 milliseconds and 177 milliseconds, which is incredibly fast at those individual ranges. And even in that 15 to 45 meters, it still has a very competitive time to kill. And then above 45 meters, it does have a little bit of a drop off. So obviously as an SMG, it's gonna be significantly less competitive at those further ranges. So now we talked about some of the damage profiles let's go ahead and jump into the class setup for the aug you can see i've already maxed it out it's level 57 that is the max level for this particular weapon go to the gunsmith as you can see i've already unlocked all the different camos for this one so the first attachment we're going to take a look at is the muzzle personally i am a fan of the monolithic suppressor or pretty much equip this whenever i can the big con here is it will slow down your aim down sight and overall movement speed. So that's just something you got to be aware of with the rest of the class setup. So this is a little bit unfavorable in those weapons that have a lot more recoil. And then as you can see with the benefits, you're going to get sound suppression, which also is going to keep you off the compass and off the mini map when there's a UAV in the air if you are running ghost. And then you also have the damage range, which really isn't all that much. It's about two and a half meters. So mostly negligible. Next up is going to be the barrel. And personally, I either like the 407 extended barrel or the lightweight barrel. The only difference right here is you're going to get a little bit more recoil control with this top one right here, the extended barrel. But you will have a little bit slower aim down sight time. And obviously when we're combining that with the monolithic suppressor, we're going to have to go take care of that in other areas. Next up is the ammunition and right here you can see that we're running the 5.56 ammo. You can go with the 30 or the 60. I just think 30 is not all that much unless you're maybe playing a 6v6 game mode. But if you go into 10v10 or ground war, you're definitely going to want to run the 60 round mag. So if we look at the bottom left, you can see that there is a lot of red on the mobility category. So we're going to try and solve for that by equipping a rear grip. And ideally you want to go with the stippled grip tape and that's going to go ahead and help significantly and for the last attachment you can either go with the 5 mw laser which will increase that sprint to fire speed as well as the hip fire accuracy the only con with that one is the laser will be visible to enemies so they could actually see you if you're kind of behind a wall your laser can give away your position personally i like to run the forge tac cqb comb and that'll give you faster aim down sight speed so to clarify, my best class setup is going to be the monolithic suppressor, the 407mm extended barrel, the 5.56 NATO 60 round drum, the stippled grip, and the forged tack CQB comb. So definitely something to keep in mind with this particular set of attachments is that you're going to treat this weapon more like a rifle than an actual SMG. If you're looking for that SMG mobility and all that type of stuff, there's plenty of other great SMGs that can actually fill that role. So let me know down in the comment section where you rank the AUG among the other SMGs. Just a reminder, my G Fuel code is 30% off, code JGOD through the 26th. 
which the link is down in the description. Also, subscriber gameplay review will be done tomorrow, so make sure you guys submit your gameplay to the link provided down in the comment section. So a quick little AUG video. Hopefully you guys did enjoy it or found it helpful in some way. If you did, please do me a favor hitting that like button. If you're brand new to the channel or just haven't yet subscribed, definitely consider subscribing with notifications on. We appreciate all the support. Thank you for watching. As always, have a great day.